Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum number of operations to make array x or equal to k. So in this question, we're given an integer array nums and also an integer variable k. We have to apply the following operation on the array any number of times. So we have to choose an element from the array and flip a bit in its binary representation. So by flipping a bit, it means you have to change 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 and our task is to return the minimum number of operations required to make the bitwise XOR of all the elements of the final array equal to k. So let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. So I've taken the first example here. So first let's start off by forming the XOR of all the elements. So 2 XOR 1 XOR 3 XOR 4 is equal to something. So let's find it. So let's find XOR of 2 and 1. So let's represent all these rep elements in its binary format. 2 can be represented as use the 8421 code if you need help forming the binary representation. Uh, set 1 wherever you need it. For example, if you need 3, you set at 2 and 1. And 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, this is the XOR table which I have taken for reference. And we have to calculate the XOR. 0 and 1 XOR is 1. 1 and 0 XOR is also 1. 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0 is 0. And this is represented as 3 right so xor of 2 and 1 is 3 now we have to form the xor of 3 and 3 so this is 3 and let's take 3 again for reference so xor of these two 1 1 xor is 0 1 1 is 0 0 0 is 0 0 0 is 0 so this entire thing is 0 so 3 xor 3 is 0 now we have to find xor of 0 and 4 so this is 0 let's take 4 4 is 0 1 0 0 0 0 xor is 0, this is 0, this is 1 and this is 0 and the entire thing constitutes to 4. So xor of 0 and 4 is 4. So finally the entire thing's xor is equal to 4. Now we got the xor of the entire array. Now we have to make that xor which is 4 equal to k. Let's write 4 in its binary format. So which is 0 1 0 0 and 1's binary format is 0 0 0 1. Now we have to find how many flips it will take to make both these equal. So let's make 4 equal to 1. These bits are different. So we need one flip here. Both are same. So we need 0 here. Here we need one flip because 1 and 0 are different. To make this as 1 we need one flip. And here we need 0. So total how many flips we made? We made two flips here. So 2 is our output which is our minimum. So let's implement these same steps in a Java program. Every decimal number is represented in its binary format as a 32-bit integer. So we are going to use a for loop starting from 0th bit to 32nd bit. So this is the 0th bit. So this is the 0th bit, this is the 1st bit, 2nd bit, 3rd bit and so on until 32nd bit. Each time I'm going to get least significant bit. To get the least significant bit, we can do AND1 operation with the binary number. So this will give you the least significant bit, that is the last bit. And each time we are going to right shift with i, where i is from the range 0 to 32, so that we can get the least significant bit each time. Now let's take a look at the code and then we'll do a dry run. So this is the input given to us. Let's take the same example 2, 1, 3, 4, and k is equal to 1. Now we calculate the xor of the input array. So we, we initialize the variable xor, which is initially the first element. So xor is initially 2. And then we start our iterations from i is equal to 1 till the end and calculate xor of every element like I showed in the previous step. So this for loop will happen for all the elements starting from 1 to last index and you get the xor as 4. So xor will be updated to 4. And now we can do a base check that directly if k is equal to 0 and xor of the input is equal to k. So for the example this whole array's xor is equal to 0 which is already equal to k which is required so there are zero number of operations required so we return zero as the output else we create a helper function where we pass xor so here in this case xor is equal to 4 and k is equal to 1 so we write a helper function which will return an integer and find the number of flips needed for these two numbers in the binary format so x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1 now let's represent this in the binary formats so these are the binary formats now I create a variable div bits to count the number of uh, operations to we need. So as I said we iterate so this is the 0th bit, this is the 1st bit, 2nd bit, 3rd bit and so on for an integer there are 32 bits. 
so i'm using a for loop starting from 0 to 32 so i will start from 0 until 32 so this for loop will run for 32 times and i'm calculating i'm getting the least significant bit of x so this is x right and this is y x least significant bit is equal to 4 right shift i is equal to 0 initially and and of 1 will give you the least significant bit that is the rightmost bit and in each iteration i'm shifting one bit to the right each time is equal to 0 and y is least significant bit is equal to 1 or 0 and 1 one right shift zero and one will give you one we check if both are different yes zero is not equal to one both are different so we increment diff bits variable by one so this was initially zero we add one and in the next iteration right shift will happen so i is equal to one right so i will become from zero i will become one for a right shift operation so if this was initially and right shift of 1 will give you we send 1 bit to the right each time so we get 1 0 and we add a 1 to the left so this will become this so these will be removed and now these are the least significant bits so both are 0 0 is not equal to 0 this is false so this will be skipped now in the next iteration i is equal to 2 we have to change the value of i so these will be eliminated now and we check these two as least significant bits this is 1 and this is 0 so for x it is 1 and for y it is 0 we check if 1 is not equal to 0 yes so we increment diff bits by 1 and in the next iteration we eliminate this and pick these two since i is equal to 3 and in this case both are zeros 0 is not equal to 0 this condition fails so this will be skipped and in the next iteration i is equal to 4 but here in this case rest of all the elements from 3 to 32 are zeros right because everything else is zeros so there won't be any change and diff bits will remain as 2 and after 32 iterations we come out of the for loop and return whatever is present inside diff bits and this function will return 2 and we are calling this function here so 2 will be returned as the output which is expected here. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the nums array and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.